What's up, youngsters? In this episode, I talk about proximity to travel destinations and the differences between Edmonton and Calgary. It has been a while since I put up a vlog. I've got a couple in the queue, so I'm excited to get those done and get those pushed out, but I've been super busy starting a new adventure and really getting my life put back together after a very tough last couple years, but more on that next time. So a couple vlogs ago, I had put together a video that talked about on a very high level the differences between Edmonton and Calgary and comparing both cities because as those of you who follow me know I was born and raised in Edmonton but after university I moved down to Calgary and have since started my family in Calgary and after living in Calgary for over a decade I officially call myself a Calgarian. Still cheer for my hometown teams although the Oilers haven't been doing so well in the last couple years but nonetheless sports wise still tight with the Edmonton crowd but from a city standpoint screen just turned on. Uh, my friend Eric and I were heading out to a photo shoot in Banff on the way there and preparing for the trip I was thinking, you know, how convenient it is to hit the mountains from Calgary. It's about a 45 minute to one hour drive, depending what part of Calgary you live in. So it's super close. Growing up in Edmonton, I remember having to plan months and months ahead of time to head out to Jasper. It's about a four hour drive from what I can recall. But there are huge differences between Banff and Jasper. Jasper is a lot less touristy as Banff is if you go to Banff on a weekend, especially during the summer months. There are busloads and busloads of tourists. There are some advantages and disadvantages depending on what your flavor is, if you like being in crowded spots or not. But nonetheless, I would have to say Calgary definitely is closer to a lot of destinations. Mountains being one, but also most recently, and I have a vlog coming about this, we went into the interior of BC and stayed at a friend's cabin for one week in Penticton. We are very close to areas like Radium Hot Springs. We are close to Golden BC, uh, Invermeer, Fairmont. So a lot of what I would call resort towns in the interior of BC is quite close to Calgary. And that's why you see a lot of Calgarians who own properties and visit those destinations. So that's overall, I would say, when we're comparing Calgary and Edmonton and access to destinations, definitely Calgary has significantly more. Calgary is also closer to the U.S. border for those of us in Calgary who like to drive down to Montana for, again, some very beautiful destinations, whether it's fishing or just enjoying the outdoors. Now, don't get me wrong, Edmonton also has some great places to visit. They're just not as diverse as some of the places you can drive to from Calgary. Now, there are quite a few lakes in and around the Edmonton area that I know a lot of family members go out and they go camping. As I said, Jasper, although a four hour drive away, still a really great spot to go to if you love the mountains. And you can't discount the airport as well, both Edmonton International and Calgary International do have tons of destinations that you can fly to, which makes both cities actually quite great if you want to leave the country and go to some far off spots. Now on the way out to Banff and during the photo shoot, I did some videos and I hope you enjoy the vlog.
So you've moved down to Calgary a few years now. That's right. Uh, we just took a drive out to mountains. So clearly the mountains are closer to Calgary than there are mountains closer to Edmonton, close to Edmonton. Much closer to Calgary. Yeah. Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about some of the other differences in terms of, you know, what's close to Edmonton versus what's close to Calgary. Okay. Um, what's close to Edmonton? West Edmonton Mall? Uh, Rumble here, but I don't. I don't really know. I think what's close to Edmonton, Elk Island Park. When you're trying to think of what about like Mamio Beach? What about that? Like, are there there's some beaches around uh, Edmonton, right? Those are lakes, yeah. yeah lakes. Mamio Beach, Alberta Beach. They are pretty nice. I mean, I've taken my family there, and uh, we've enjoyed it. But I think ultimately, uh, there's way more um, scenery closer to Calgary for sure. Uh, Obviously, Banff, Canmore, Kananaskis, and for me, even the drive into BC, you're saving at least three hours, four hours. So there's a lot more closer to Calgary for sure. decided to stop in Banff to get a bite to eat didn't want to starve on our photo shoot so we'll see what we have uh, to try how's the drive awesome Eric what restaurant are we at we are at I, I, don't, I don't know sushi sushi house sushi house so it's very cool very cool they got um that sushi that goes on a train Just grab what you like. So far, so good. So that was the trip out to Banff. I hope you enjoyed that vlog. I'd like to find out your opinions about the destinations that you can access between both Edmonton and Calgary. There's no right or wrong answer. I just want to hear from you. The last vlog I did at Edmonton to Calgary comparison, I got tons of comments. I love reading those comments and answering any questions you guys have. This time, I want to hear from you guys about your favorite destinations that are close to whether you live in Edmonton or whether you live in Calgary and what your favorite spots are. Don't forget to give me a like for this video and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, make sure to go out, have fun, enjoy your summer, and don't forget to comment below about the spots that you love to go to. We'll see you next time.